Do you like another apple, Rory? Oh, no thanks. They were really good, though. How about you, Logan? Apple? Thank you, but I don't think I could eat another thing. And unfortunately, we should probably be going. I have an early day tomorrow. Oh, Logan, an early day. I'm so sorry we kept you. I wish I could stay longer. An early day is an early day. Beatrice, get their coats. I had a wonderful time. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you, Grandma and Grandpa. It was great. Of course. We had a wonderful time, too. Bye, Mom. Bye, hon. <laughs> Good night, Logan. Nice to see you again. Nice seeing you again, too. I hope we can all do Laurel, this. I don't keep them. Logan has an early day tomorrow. Sorry. Now, I'm going to hold you to your promise about that tennis racket. Oh, absolutely. I'll call you this week, or maybe I'll just shoot you an email. Shoot me an email? That is so clever. Well, that's good business sense, too. You have to utilize the latest technology, or you'll fall behind. Now, would you look at that? What a cunning little car. I adore sports coupes. Fine parking job, too. Well, goodbye, Grandma and Grandpa. Thanks again. Good night, you two. Drive safe. More coffee, Lorelei? No, thank you. What? Uh, nothing. Just on those National Geographic shows, people are so sweaty after a mating ritual. You two are powder dry. What on earth are you talking about? They're just kids, and they're still figuring things out, and they don't need you two dropping all these heavy-handed hints about weddings and babies and Cape Cod. You should be thrilled by this match, Lorelai. Well, who says I'm not thrilled? Well, you're not acting very thrilled. I'm annoyed at you, that's why. Uh, putting all this pressure on them, they are in their early 20s, for God's sake. You're letting your own personal tastes cloud your judgment of this boy. He's perfect for Rory, and you don't see it. This is not about my personal taste. You're uncomfortable around people like Logan. He's not your type. That's well documented. Oh, that was a nice, not so subtle dig at Luke. Luke? Who said anything about Luke? You're very sensitive tonight. I'm not sensitive. It's just you're busy marrying Rory off into a family that wasn't even nice to her. Who wasn't nice to her? The Huntsburgers? She went over there for dinner, and they treated her like trash. I highly doubt that. Well, they did. If the Huntsburgers were so horrible to Rory, why on earth did Mitchum give her a very valuable internship? He was buying her off. So the internship was like hush money? Yes. There's no money. It's an unpaid position. It's a figure of speech. Rory got this internship by making a contact in a way similar to me setting you up with Mike Armstrong. Is there something wrong with that? No. I concur. There is still something wrong with this internship. My god, you're paranoid. I am not paranoid. And Logan did not have an early day. What? What 22-year-old has an early day on a, on a Saturday? Why are you so hell-bent on derailing this match? They're perfect for each other. OK, that word perfect, he's not. I mean, no one is, OK? But especially him. I mean, at your wedding, I caught him and Rory in the back room, uh, <laughs> kissing. Kissing. You have something against kissing? I never thought of you as a prude. Paranoid, not a prude. He stole your sewing box. The sewing box is sitting on the table in the living room, Lorelei. No, no, he's just a... Are we done here? No! Good, I have a call to make. You might want that cup of coffee. Clear your head a bit before you drive home. Or maybe you just had one too many sidecars. So it's not necessarily a diminishment of personnel. No, that's the advantage of using pooled reporting through the whole syndicate. By sharing the resources, you're going to have more options. With more options, you're going to be less reliant on the wire services. People only read so many flatly written wire stories before they catch on and start reading something else, or worse, turn on the TV. Coffee? Uh... It's decaf. Oh. Huh. Well, thank you. It's good. All right, let's take a look at that editorial budget. What are you waiting for, Gilmore? An engraved invitation? 